Before engaging in any suppression activity, the company officer or crew boss will ensure lookouts, communications, escape routes, and safety zones are in place. He or she will also give the crew a specific direction, such as six foot cut, two foot scrape. Other assignments for this position are to serve as the primary contact point for chain of command and aircraft support, serve as the primary lookout, reassess LCES, and scout ahead to determine line construction tactics and location. The Sawyer will wear full PPE and chaps at all times. He or she will be competent in chainsaw safety and operations. Know your limit and err on the side of caution. Identify where hand line is to be constructed. Work with your swamper to formulate an effective plan. Maintain safe control of the cutting area. Utilize safe body mechanics such as an athletic stance and using your legs. Keep your thumb wrapped around the bar handle at all times to mitigate any kickback. Maintain control of the tip of the bar by keeping it away from others, out of the dirt, and away from rocks. When the swamper is removing cut brush, apply the chain brake and move the bar away from the area. Brush should be cleared to a predetermined width and cut as low to the ground as possible to eliminate trip hazards. The line should be as wide as ordered, as straight as possible, widened around turns, and extend from the ground to the sky with nothing overhanging. If your chain is cutting poorly, turn your saw off and sharpen your chain. The Swamper will wear full PPE, including chaps. He or she is the primary director for guiding the Sawyer. Formulate a plan with the Sawyer. Have good, nonverbal communication, such as hand signals and shaking brush that needs to be cut. Whatever material the Swamper grabs, the Sawyer cuts. Never reach over the bar. When approaching the Sawyer from behind, extend your arm and grab their shoulder to ensure they know you're in the cutting area. Discard burnt material into the burn area and unburned material into the unburn area. Black in black, green in green. Determine if keyholes need to be constructed in heavy brush and maintain situational awareness with weather and fire behavior. Adjust tactics as needed to remain effective. Cutting tools such as the Pulaski or Rogue hoe with pick are used to remove stobs, brush, and grass from the hand line. All organic material must be removed from the line to effectively prevent the spread of fire. After exposing the stob, use an overhead swing to cut crosshairs and weaken its integrity. Once weakened, use the grubbing end to remove the stob, including the root ball if possible. Fill in the hole with dirt to mitigate any trip hazard. Utilize lick and go tactics to maintain production. Maintain 10 to 15 feet of spacing between crew and remember to call out swinging when swinging overhead. Scraping tools such as the McLeod, Rogue Hoe, and Shovel are used to remove all organic material down to bare mineral soil. Do not swing these tools overhead. The hand line should be as wide as predetermined by the company officer or crew boss and should resemble a well-traveled walking trail. Stay safe out there.